Hello, hello. So let's say that you want to be able to change the installation folder for Spotify. Uh, you can't do that because when you install Spotify, it will just install itself with, without any options at all. So uh, it's not even installed in the program files folder where, it, where all the software usually is. And you might think, where is it installed? Well, it's actually installed in your roaming profile in the app data uh, folder. And that's a hidden folder. So to get there, you actually press just to start and you press just type percent app data percent and press enter. And you see I am in the roaming sort of folder here. And the default location is over here. And when you have installed Spotify, it will have a Spotify folder here. But I haven't installed Spotify yet. Because if you want to be able to install Spotify on a different folder, you need to do a little bit of a trick. Actually, before you install it. And what I have done is that I actually went to my D drive. And in my music folder, I created a folder called Spotify. And you need to remember this destination. So the next thing you do before you install Spotify, press start and type CMD and you get the command prompt and you just press enter. And now I'm going to create a so-called junction and you do that with a little command here. And I will place this command in the video description. And the only thing you need to do is change the last sort of destination folder. So mk link space forward slash uh, capital J for junction space. And now you need to type the sort of default installation folder which was in the app data. So percent app data percent and then backslash Spotify. And you need to have it as a the a capital S there and then space. Now you need to type the sort of new installation folder. And now you, you have to Sort of type for me it was D drive music backslash and uh, Spotify Spotify. Now you just press enter. And there you see junction created for la -di -da, -di da Spotify to the D music Spotify. And if you go to the uh, Present app data folder now, present app, present. You see that I have a Spotify folder here, but it has this link to it. So basically the junction is a sort of a link to the new destination. But if I actually click here, you see it's in Spotify. It looks like you're still on the C drive, but it's actually on the D drive. So. Uh, yeah, and you can do the same thing with Minecraft, actually. But that's another video. And the funny thing is that if you already installed uh, Spotify, what you do is that in the uh, roaming profile, let's see if I can get back here. Uh, If you already installed Spotify, you already have this folder. What you do is that you actually cut it. You need to uh, move it to the D drive first. And then you create this junction file. And uh, it's quite important that you do this uh, sort of MK link because when Spotify updates itself, it will automatically install the new update over here. So that's why you need to do this sort of junction thing.
so that uh, the files on the G drive will actually be updated. So uh, yeah, I don't uh, since this is a brand new installation on this computer, I don't I don't even need to install Spotify. The only thing I need to do is do this junction file and then I go to the music folder, Spotify, and this file I actually right click on it and send to desktop. And that's what I got here. And then you just start it and you just log in as normal and do your little thing. So yeah, that's how you install Spotify on a different folder. So see you later.